Hey everyone, Brooke here with another Sims 4 speed build. So one thing about me is I actually get to work with mortgage loans and a large part of what I do includes reviewing properties and reading appraisal reports. So I actually get to see different appraisal reports multiple times a day. And one type of thing I see pretty regularly are large older style homes that have been refurbished and split up into multiple apartments. I came across another one of these today and I thought it would be a good idea to create a build for. So on my personal play file, I've completely wiped out Willow Creek and I'm rebuilding the world entirely. And I figured a property like this would fit really well in there. This one, I used the 20 by 30 Potter Splay lot in Willow Creek. And for the build itself, I really didn't have any references on hand to pull from for it. I'm just completely winging it. While I did get the idea from something I was reviewing today with work, I didn't actually use anything from that property. Um, I just kind of took the idea and went in blind with this. So the only thing I really knew I wanted it to be was a more traditional style two-story home, maybe with a little bit of Victorian influence, and that it had been split into upstairs and downstairs apartments. But that's about all I had pre-planned, and I feel like for going in blind, getting through the base layout and everything went pretty smooth. The only thing I struggled with a bit was the exterior design. I couldn't find any windows or doors that I really liked for the style. So because I didn't really know what exactly I wanted my style to be, I was kind of feeling it out as I went. And I was putting different styles of windows on there, different sizes and themes, just trying to find which ones I really liked. It took a little bit of going back and forth before I found what I wanted, what I knew I wanted. But once I had it on there, I was really happy with the result. And then it was just going through laying out the roofing and siding and things like that. For the downstairs apartment, it is accessible from the front porch. And to get to the upstairs apartment, there's exterior stairs that were built to run the back of the property. And in my mind, I was thinking that these stairs were added on to what would have been referred to as a sleeping porch on the older homes. And for each unit, the property, it, they ended up being pretty spacious with three good sized bedrooms, a kitchen and a living area. Neither unit has a formal dining room, but because the downstairs unit is a little bit larger, you could probably fit one in there if you wanted to, if you wanted to rearrange the furniture. And for the furniture and decorations, I kind of kept everything very simple. I made them almost identically matching. I used a lot of the same things. Um but really didn't try to make it too ornate. My idea for this property was to be able to use it in game as a property to rent out and play as a landlord rather than actually living in it as a tenant. So I did not spend a lot of time doing fine details and putting in the clutter and the decorations. I just made sure everything had the base amenities that were needed in that it had a pretty cohesive style, and then I just kind of matched the styles across both units. For a quick build like this, I'm really happy where it ended up. I thought everything worked really well together for it, and I'm anxious to hear what your comments are. So if you have anything you like about it or don't like, anything you would have done differently, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sims content. Bye!